Hi, so I'm going to show you how to locate the CPU generation. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the CPU that contains the GIMP CH and the graphic cards inside it. So let's see its characteristics. As you can see, this is Intel processor, as you can see. And we have i3-3-8-8. So the generation is the number after the dash. Dash 3 means the third generation. So, I'm, so we can also know the generation of the processor using DX Diag, as you can see. So let's check the DX Diag window, as you can see the DX windows. So here, as you can see, we have the processor characteristics. This is Intel, as you can see, Core i3-2270U CPU, as you can see. So the dash three means the third generation. Always the number after the dash means generation. We have 1.8 gigahertz. This is the speed for this processor. Okay, so always as you can see. So we can also go and see the properties. Just go to the properties and we will find the same result as you can see. Same result, Intel Core i3-2270U CPU. So dash three, as you can see. This is a third generation laptop. 1.8 gigahertz. This is the same working principle. Well, here I will show you some examples in order to know about how to locate the laptop processor generation. As you can see here, this is the third generation. Here we have i5-8600K, as you can see. Dash 8 means this is the eighth generation. Here i7-7820X. So always the number after the dash. We have seven, that means the seventh generation. Here we have dash nine, as we can see, the ninth generation. Here also dash nine, as you can see. This is a real number, ninth generation. So always, as you can see, the real number. As you can see here, the number after the dash means the generation of the CPU. And you have many ways that you can locate it. show you many motherboards. So here we have a motherboard with a dual core processor. This is just a dual core. So in this kind of processor, you will find these characteristics as you can see. Always the first number is the speed or the processor frequency. The second number is the memory cache and the third number is the speed of the IFSB or front side bus. The bus that connects the processor to the GIMP CH. Okay, so let's see this processor also. So we have 2.00, which means two gigabytes. The frequency of the processor is one megabyte and 533. This is the IFSB frequency. And one megabyte, of course, is the cache memory capacity. So as you can see here in the schematic, this is Iona 478. This is the processor. Here we have the front side bus, the bus that connects the processor to the Calistoga 1466. This is the North Bridge. So the IFSB is the bus that connects between the processor and the north bridge. So in some processors, you can find the frequency of this bus. So I will show you in the motherboard. So as you can see here in this processor, we have 533. It means the 523 megabytes. So the frequency of the front side bus, as you can see.